Hello everybody, my name is Caitlin Cohn from the Charmec Virtual School and today I'm going to give you a really quick tutorial on how I like to incorporate buttons into my Canvas pages to create a really student-friendly Canvas course that makes everything really easy to find. Um, so if you are interested in that and also figuring out how you can add some of your own flair to your Canvas course, just keep on watching. Now, everything that I'm going to show you today is available in Canvas Commons. I have it pulled up right here, what that looks like, and also I'll add these resources um, to that text sheet that we're going to be giving out at the August 17th PD. So to get started, I'm just going to give you an example of what my landing page looks like. So when students go into Canvas and they click Enter Here to start class, um, so being virtual, I have all of my lessons available to my students at all times. Um, so they would come in, they would click whichever day of the week they're on. <laughs> Hopefully they're on the correct day. Um, and then it would pull up their lesson that they would complete from start to finish. So I'm going to show you how I will link that. And then I'm going to show you how I actually built these buttons into here. So I'm going to go to edit. And I'm just going to go ahead and link a lesson template here, the lesson template that I have in Commons for you. So I'm going to go to course link and then I think I titled it yeah, 5e lesson template and I'm going to click save. Okay, so once you add the page to the button, when the student clicks on it, I'm going to open it in a new tab, they will see the lesson. So this would be labeled with whatever it is and then I add the standards, the objectives, and then I link in their activities so everything they need is in one place. I started doing this, of course, after COVID, when we were all um, hybrid teaching and whatnot. Um, and I incorporated this even when I was still in a traditional classroom because it made things very easy for like, if you have a homebound student, if you have students um, that are sick or suspended and out for an extended period of time, if you have your lesson set up on Canvas to where they can grab everything they need. It eliminates a lot of headache for you, you know, trying to figure out, you know, putting a, a makeup folder together, etc. Makes it really easy if you need to be out for a day with a substitute, you know, your students just know their lessons are on Canvas. Now, obviously that's a lot to overhaul. Um, so if you have zero interest in using this template, zero interest in trying to put that all together, because I know um, you know, overhauling, doing new things can be really stressful. You might want to consider like if you've got your assignments on Canvas, you could always use a page like this to just link their assignments only. So like their daily graded assignment, or you could have a landing page that has like important information. So maybe you just link your syllabus on it. So the students really have, you know, a comprehensive um, landing page with all the important information for your class. Another really great idea, something I used to do all the time, my students keep a notebook. I would keep a button that just said notebook on it, and if they clicked on it, I had a running list of what they needed in there and in what order. So you can really customize it to whatever works for you and where you are in your classroom, okay? So I'm going to show you how I incorporated these buttons into this page, and I'm going to do that by adding module buttons on the bottom. So I always have daily lessons on the top. And then of course, <laughs> inevitably, I have students that get behind or need to go back and get, you know, content from previous units, etc. So I always link their modules on the bottom and I'm going to show you how to add the buttons to the page. So again, I'm going to go to edit. And I'm going to go down here. Now the easiest way I found to do this is just to add a table. So I add a table. And I want it to line up with my Monday, Friday, so I'm just gonna do five. So one, two, three, four, five, okay? Now I'm gonna add my unit buttons here at the bottom. So where do I get my unit buttons? Well, I'm gonna use the ones from the editable PowerPoint that I have in Commons. So this is what it would look like if you decide to download it. It's got a science banner, some helpful tips, and then I've got the Monday through Friday, and then some editable buttons here. So let's just say I'm teaching chemistry, which I do. Um, I know my unit zero is intro to chem. And let me go ahead and do my unit one, because I know that unit one is going to be the atom and the periodic table. So I'm just going to say the atom. Now that's a little bit big, so I'm just going to go ahead and adjust it how I want. And then I'm going to save it 
right? So the easiest way I found to do this is just to open up my snipping tool. And I'm going to create a new one. And I'm going to create a box around my button. So whatever I want to add to my page is my button. I'm going to go ahead and snip it. And I always save mine to a folder. So I have my canvas buttons in a folder. So I'm going to save this as my one so I can easily find it. Okay. So I've saved my button. And what I did when I first started building my canvas course like this is that I would go one unit at a time. So like I wouldn't even make a button until I got to the unit. So I would get through a unit. When I came to a new one, I would make a new button and add it to my Canvas course as I went along. Because honestly, when you're building something like this, it's never done. You're always tweaking, always coming up with new ways um, to incorporate just new things and figuring out what works for you. So now that I have my buttons that I'm going to start adding, I'm going to come to my page with my table and I'm just going to insert my pictures. Okay, so I'm going to go to Upload Image. And then I know my unit zero is there. So I'm going to start with that. And then the beauty of it being in a table is that it will automatically adjust it to the correct size for you. And then I'm going to do my unit one. Okay. So again, you could edit these to be whatever you want, you know, notebook list, syllabus, contact information. If you just wanted to make, you know, a cute homepage, with all the information, rules, expectations, the, you know, the sky's the limit. <laughs> so here I'm going to link my modules. So like, let's say I wanted my students to be able to get to the module based on the unit. Again, you would just click this link, course link, and then I would go to my modules and do my unit zero, my unit one, etc., etc. Okay. Now for me, I, if you don't mind, you can always leave the table as is, but I don't like to see the lines in the table. So I just go back to table, table properties. I go to advanced and then I change the color border uh, or the border color to white. And then that gets rid of those lines. Now, sometimes when you're adding buttons, <laughs> it can be a little bit difficult to find like where to add in the next button. So sometimes I will revert it back to the black um, border just to be able to see it. But now there is my new page with my buttons. And again, this would take me to my lesson page and this would take my students to their modules. Okay. You can do whatever you want. You can do nothing at all. <laughs> this is just a, a quick tutorial to show you how I like to do it. Now there might be other ways to incorporate buttons, but I've just found that for me, this is what's quick. I know where everything is. Um, and it's super easy to link. Um, and I've gotten feedback from my students that they really like it. They know exactly where they need to go and exactly what they're supposed to do for the day. Okay. So of course, if you have any questions, um, you can always shoot me an email and let me know. Um, some very helpful tips too, when you are customizing using buttons for your canvas page, if you have the bitmoji extension on your Google Chrome, I don't believe it works out on CMS network for whatever reason, I think it's blocked. Um, but if you wanted to add like pictures of your bitmoji onto your, um, canvas page, you can always do that. So it's just a Google extension. You can add, I, <laughs> I add my bitmoji onto like presentations onto my homepage, etc. Um, also too, with your CMS email address, you have a premium account to Canva. So not canvas, but Canva, which is basically just templates for presentations. You can design buttons on here. Um, they have some preloaded banners. So if you wanted to kind of play around with that and find some things you like, you can always add those to Canvas and create your own buttons as well. But I do have those resources in there for you if you're interested. Again, I know that trying to start something new and overhauling things can be very overwhelming. Um, but if you have any questions or are interested um, in really setting it up or uh, have any other questions, just let me know. Yeah. So thanks for watching. And I hope you guys have a wonderful school year.